Hey all, welcome back to GSC. So the 7.3 is a runner driver. Obviously I've made a lot of progress on it. Had to do a transmission harness. So I'll flip this around. We're gonna talk a little bit about some things that are upcoming, things that are gonna get worked on and possibly the future endeavors of said 7.3. So I'll get this flipped around and we'll talk about it. So the old 7.3 is definitely doing a lot better now. I've had to replace the boots on the spider. If you look down in here, you can kind of see them. I used a set I had from Casper's old intercooler system. Those were done, they're in, the video's up. I've had to resort back to the old original boots here on the top, and that's not a big deal. But this truck does have an interesting hard start issue first thing in the morning. So I'll roll that footage now. Possibility that it's gonna need injector O-rings. Injector's buzz tested, and everything looks pretty good. A little fussy. Yeah. Definitely gonna need injector rings. Now that it's warmed up and I've driven it 10 miles, start this thing again. Smooth and no surge. So as you can see, it bucks, it shakes, it cackles, and then it idles and smooths out. So you can tell that something's going on. I've got a new ICP in here. I've checked the H-pop lines. I have checked multiple other parts. But unfortunately, I don't know what's plaguing this thing to have such a hard start. It could be the other valve cover harness, for all I know, when I buzz test it, I do get a command back from all eight injectors. So they are getting information and sending it back to the ECM. But it doesn't change the fact that this thing has definitely got an issue, which I'm going to have to work on diagnosing. So it might be a few weeks before I get to it. I've got some stuff going on that's going to kind of take precedence, which is okay. But the idea is to figure out how to troubleshoot this, determine what's going on with it this fall yet, and if it needs injectors, then we'll do a GSC injector swap edition, glow plugs. I'll make it a, a one and done, do injectors, glow plugs, the harnesses under the valve covers, a PCV reroute, possibly charge pipes, and a wicked wheel. So there's a lot of things that we can do to this truck. It's pretty cool. The fact that 7.3s really do have a monstrous availability of high performance parts that are laying around and i'll have an opportunity to really dig into this thing stock bumpers to come because i can't stand these texas ranch hand bumpers i'm not in texas and i don't want to be so i'll have to locate some stock front and rear bumpers for this i was going to lower it but i like the 37s and how tall it is so i'll just have to buy a set of 35s for sled pulling next year because this inevitably will end up being a sled pulling truck so lots to come with the 7.3. I'm excited to keep tinkering with it. I've always wanted one. I've always wanted one that I could play with. And now I have the opportunity to really sink my teeth into one and make it do the things I wanted it to do. So I hope everybody has a good end of summer here. I'm gonna be down and out for about six weeks and then I'll be back at it. And then we can really start playing with the 7.3 and also working on the LB7 cooling stack and intercooler in 6.5 because that is also on the back burner as of now due to other priorities. So I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and I hope everybody's working on their projects, being successful, not being discouraged if things go wrong because the best way for us to learn working on these is through failures or through mistakes and taking note of it. Thanks everybody.